I'm sure you know the voice from the Drive Time show, but maybe not so familiar with the face. Poppy from Five is fly on the mic, but not so fly on the DIY. Let's go help out. The patient, a rather pale looking corner of the house. So Poppy, this is the wall you're talking about. This is the wall. Any ideas? Not really. Okay, well this is my input. Stripes are really hot at the moment, so I'm thinking champagne and all gold on the side. And in the middle here, we just go mad with color. Cool. But now looking at a girl like you, I think we need one or two antiques as well. Awesome, high five. All right. First up, Joburg's Long Road Strip. Rich in character furniture, and on this trip, it was a set of classic Chippendale chairs that caught Poppy's eye. Made to order for paint affecting. To fill out that order, Aiden sourced a mix of metal paints and high color berries, blues and marigolds. Brushes, foam rollers, enough masking tape to wrap a mummy, a staple gun, Stanley knife, hot glue gun, ladder, and a secret weapon to be revealed on site. And when you're doing stripes, masking tape is your best friend. What we've got to do first is mask up the section that we don't want to paint. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to run straight parallel stripes all the way along here. If you say so. <laughs> Having started with the corners, which you know are straight, it's then time for that boy toy must-have. A laser-guided level, which sticks to the wall like Spider-Man and gives you the perfect line. We've got a built-in uh, spirit level. So when the bubble's in the center, you know we're good. Starting with an irregular series of marks, spaced 100 to 150 mils apart, you have your first paint coat template. The color, one which a girl loves in a fluted glass or on the wall. We got our champagne down and it's positively shimmering, I must say. I like it, I think it's very glamorous. Uh, next step from here is we're going to peel off our masking tape and then uh -huh. remask for the gold sections. Please. Then once we've got that, we're going to remask for the colors in a random sort of striation all the way across. That sounds like a lot of work. Keep it up, girl. <laughs> Aiden was revealing a bit more than just his artistic side. That lionfish tattoo suggested he wasn't all champagne and stripes. While we're waiting for that paint to dry, let's get started on the chair. We've got this subframe here. What we're going to do is we're going to stick it to this foam and then sure. cut this section around, which is going to form the seat. For our fabric here, I've got this beautiful fabric. But now this is the right side, but it's a bit of a modern trend to actually flip it over and use the reverse side or wrong side. Okay. So we're going to try something a bit uh, edgy there. Cool. Also, what's going to happen with these stripes is they're going to pick up our paint effects on the wall. The actual frame of the chair, we're going to paint in a midnight indico. Mm -hmm. And then take our gold once again and just do a sponge effect on the top. Pick me, I can do sponging with the ease. <laughs> <laughs> with a heated glue gun, this previously unappetizing task is a pleasure. At once applied, the frame is flipped onto its face and stuck to your cushion. Okay, so we're going to use the actual profile of the frame to, mm -hmm. to make a cut here. Awesome. Oh, look at that slice. Great, Aiden. How does that song nice. go? First cut is the deepest. deepest. You must remix it. You've got something going on here. <laughs> Starting from the rear, pull the fabric taut over the front end and staple to the frame. Taking care to fold the corners in neatly. And once your cushions are sorted, time for that first coat of indigo on the frames. The technique is just dab your sponge in there, mm -hmm. really soak up the paint, and then just brush it over lightly over the detail. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Stroke. With the midnight in the notches and the metal on the surfaces, it's instant magic. Next, more colors than the cover of Sgt. Pepper's. Now it's time for our color explosion. Bring it on. This is just a little taste of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it in the same fashion, mask it up, and then move through a random pattern. Because Poppy's no shrinking violet, no fading wallflower, we felt she could deal with this festival of color. The combination of which echoes the design of the trailblazing Brit, Paul Smith. Better still, they'd pulled it off themselves. So cool. This is absolutely amazing. This is the best part of the day, when you get to chill and just appreciate your work. And look at the hard work that we put in, and it looks divine. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Thank you so much for your help. Cool. Well, one more high five just to seal the deal. Uh-huh. Yeah. With a striking feature wall, all contemporary in character, the classical style of those Chippendales struck a very good balance. And all in a day's DIY.